This is the Epiphone Orange Emperor Swing Star with Bigsby Tremolo Arm. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fit this. This is the uh, pick guard. It has the scratch plate, um, some kind of uh, support. It has three screws and a small nut and bolt there to fit the uh, support to the actual scratch plate. Um, and this is the clear one. If you go to the link below, you can see all the variations if you want something a bit more fancy. The clear is a pretty good start to, uh, to begin with. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, unpack your um, pieces. You have, first of all, the scratch plate which um, is covered in uh, some sort of protective plastic coating. So just remove that. Remove the coating. And on the rear as well we have another um, layer of uh, plastic. So just remove that. So that's uh, And that's your uh, scratch plate. That's the correct position. So this is a small riser you've got, which goes um, under the longest screw, which is this one, goes through the top into the riser. That's your riser there. So you're sort of on top of your ring mounts, your humbucker ring mounts. So this metal pit guard support which goes against that side. I just make sure you've got everything. So you've got two screws, very tiny screws there that go in the bottom against the side of the guitar. And then you've got one small nut and a small uh, Phillips head screw which again attaches to your, um, your, the mount so that, that screw will go in there. So that's basically it. So we need to drill a hole in um, just near the side of the uh, humbucker ring mount, plastic ring mount here and then two small holes um, just literally at the side there. Number one, which is the longer one, slightly uh, wider. So I've gone for a 1.5 uh, millimeter drill bit. Uh, you need a small screwdriver and obviously your drill. For the smaller screws, um, I'm using a one millimeter for these two small screws which will attach the uh, bracket that attaches to the um, pick guard. This is the 1.5 millimeter drill bit. So just make sure that everything lines up. Make sure that your drill bit is nice and tight. Put it on the lowest and just to a very low number I've got it on one and then that's it. You can see you've got a neat hole. Just blow out the uh, the dust. That's your bracket and just tighten it up so it's um, able to move so it's got a little bit of uh, play in it. Uh, we can do all the adjust finer adjustments later on. Now we need to push the uh, so make sure you push 
this in so it kind of uh, touches the side just like that. Slowly does it, just gently, because as you screw it in, the wood will slightly stretch. Okay, now to fit the bracket, as you can see, we've got the uh, bracket nicely uh, in place, and I'm using a one millimeter drill bit. So again, just very gently drill out your wood. And that's it. Just slightly move out your bracket. And as you can see, that is the perfect position for it to be in. Again, give it another slight um, adjustment. Just make sure that's nice and tight. Um, again, we need to reattach the first screw through this riser right the brackets in place so we're putting the second screw in now and just That's nice and tight Just take your time when screwing it in. It needs to be done carefully as the wood takes time to kind of stretch and adjust to the uh, screw. So that's a really nice job. Nice and tight, nice and firm. You see the pit guard's not moving. And that's it, that's how to fit your pit guard. Uh, don't forget to remove these uh, sticky pads so they come off like that. Little bits of plastic. It just basically tells you that the uh, pots, these two, the two tone pots pop up. So you can have like um, double coil or single coil. So it would be like a single uh, swing bucket or a um, normal humbucker double coil. So that's very interesting. That's on the tone pots. Another thing uh, I find with these is when you get a brand new guitar, you also have um, plastic on the swing buckers so you need to remove these just plastic covers um, the tremolo arm a great thing for this uh, Bigsby that's an original Bigsby and one other modification I'm going to do so these have small um, wheels they're, they're round very kind on the strings and the strings not going to pop off like on these kind of more pointy sharper I'll put all the links in the uh, description below as well where you can get one of these for this uh, Empress Swingster uh, thanks for watching 
Um, and I look forward to you checking out my channel and seeing some more tutorials and other music videos. Thank you, I'll see you later. Latch on baby, you are really gone.